Miguel López de Legazpi Spanish pronunciation, Mi el Lope Theta y la A Theta Pi, c. 1502 August 20, 1572, also known as El Adentado and El Viejo the Elder, was a Basque Spanish navigator and governor who established the first Spanish settlement in the East Indies when his expedition crossed the Pacific Ocean from the Viceroyalty of New Spain in modern-day Mexico, arrived in Cebu of the Philippine Islands, 1565. He was the first Governor General of the Spanish East Indies which included the Philippines and other Pacific archipelagos, namely Guam and the Marianas Islands. After obtaining peace with various indigenous nations and kingdoms, Miguel López de Legazpi made Manila the capital of the Spanish East Indies in 1571. The capital city of the province of Albay bears his name. Mexico. In 1528, Hernán Cortés established settlements in North America and López de Legazpi traveled to Mexico New Spain to start a new life. This was due to the death of his parents and his dissatisfaction with his eldest sibling, who inherited the family fortune. In Tlaxcala, he worked with Juan Garces and Juan's sister, Isabel Garces. López de Legazpi would go on to marry Isabel and have nine children with her. Isabel died in the mid-1550s. Between 1528 and 1559 he worked as a leader of the Financial Department Council and as the civil governor of Mexico City. <inaudible> Expedition to the Philippines In 1564, López de Legazpi was commissioned by the Viceroy, Luis de Velasco, to lead an expedition in the Pacific Ocean, to find the Spice Islands where the earlier explorers Ferdinand Magellan and Rui López de Villalobos had landed in 1521 and 1543, respectively. The expedition was ordered by King Philip II of Spain, after whom the Philippines had earlier been named by Rui López de Villalobos. The Viceroy died in July 1564, but the Audiencia and López de Legazpi completed the preparations for the expedition. On November 19 or 20, 1564, five ships and 500 soldiers, sailed from the port of Barra de Navidad, New Spain, in what is now Jalisco State, Mexico other sources give the date as November 1, 1564, and mention four ships and 380 men. Members of the expedition included six Augustinian missionaries, in addition to Fr. Andrés de Urdaneta, who served as navigator and spiritual advisor, Melchor de Legazpi, son of Adelanto de Legazpi, Felipe de Salcedo, grandson of Miguel López de Legazpi, and Guido de Levezerez, a survivor of the expedition of Ferdinand Magellan. López de Legazpi and his men sailed the Pacific Ocean for 93 days. In 1565, they landed in the Mariana Islands, where they briefly anchored and replenished their supplies. There they fought with Chamorro tribes and burned several huts. Topic. Arrival in the Philippines A chief of Bohol Island named Katunao gave information to Miguel López of Cebu, and accompanied López as a guide. López de Legazpi's expedition anchored off the Indianized Rajanate of Cebu on February 13, 1565, but did not put ashore due to opposition from natives. On February 22, 1565, the expedition reached the island of Samar and made a blood compact with Datu Areo. The Spaniards then proceeded to Limasawa and were received by Datu Bangka, then to Bohol, where they befriended Datu Sikatuna or Katunao and Raja Sigala. On March 16, Legazpi made a blood compact with Datu Sikatuna. On April 27, 1565, the expedition returned to Cebu and landed there. Raja Tupas challenged the Spaniards, but were overpowered by them. The Spaniards established a colony, naming the settlements, Villa del Santísimo Nombre de Jesús, town of the most holy name of Jesus, after an image of Sto. Nino in one of the native houses. Panay and Mindoro In 1569, due to a scarcity of food provisions in Cebu, Legazpi transferred to Panay where they were peacefully welcomed by the people in the Kadatuan of Maja as and they founded a second settlement on the bank of the Panay River. In 1570, Legazpi sent his grandson, Juan de Salcedo, who had arrived from Mexico in 1567, to Mindoro former location of the Wangdam of Ma to punish the Muslim Moro pirates who had been plundering Panay villages. 
Salcedo also destroyed forts on the islands of Aline and Lubang, respectively south and northwest of Mindoro. Topic: <laughs> Luzon and the capture of Manila. In 1570, having heard of the rich resources in Luzon, Legazpi dispatched Martín de Goiti to explore the northern region. Landing in Batangas with a force of 120 Spaniards, de Goiti explored the Pansipat River, which drains Tall Lake. On May 8, they arrived in Manila Bay. There, they were welcomed by the natives. Goiti's soldiers camped there for a few weeks while forming an alliance with the Muslim leader, Raja Aik, who was a vassal under the Sultan of Brunei. Legazpi wanted to use Manila's harbor as a base for trade with China. However, the Raja's ally in northern shores of Manila Bay, historically known as the Young Bambalito of Maccabeeb, asked Raja Solomon Old Ake to revoke his alliance with the Spaniards. Raja Matanda refused because of the word of honor of the Spaniards. Raja Solomon had his conditions for Bambalito that if they were able to kill as least 50 Spaniards, he would revoke his alliance with Legazpi, and the old ache would help to expel the conquerors. Bambalito rode back to Maccabeeb and formed a fleet of 2,500 Moros consisting of soldiers from the villages along Manila Bay particularly from Maccabeeb and Haganoy. On May 30, 1570, Bambalito sailed to Tondo with Caracoas and encountered the Spaniards at Bancuse Channel, headed by Martin de Goiti on June 3, 1571. Bambalito and his fleet had lost the battle, and after disputes and hostility had erupted between the two groups, the Spaniards occupied the Islamized states of Tondo and Mainila. Manila was prepared by Goiti for Legazpi who left Panay. In the same year, more reinforcements arrived in the Philippines, prompting López de Legazpi to leave Cebu for Panay and then for Luzon. He recruited 250 Spanish soldiers and 600 native warriors to explore the regions of Leyte and Panay. The following year he followed Goiti and Salcedo in Manila, after hearing that the villages had been conquered. During the early phase of the exploration of the northern part of the Philippines, López de Legazpi remained in Cebu, and did not accompany his men during their conquest of Manila, because of health problems and advanced age. In Manila, López de Legazpi formed a peace pact with the native councils as well as the local rulers, Raja Suleiman and Lacan Dula. Lacan and Raja are same title of the native royalty. Both groups agreed to organize a city council, consisting of two mayors, twelve councillors and a secretary. López de Legazpi established a settlement there on June 24, 1571, and he also ordered the construction of the walled city of Intramuros. He proclaimed the town as the island's capital, and the seat of the Spanish government in the East Indies. Upon the defeat of Bambolito, Legazpi orders the exploration of the villages north of Manila. In September 1571, Goiti pacified Lubao and Betis, using riverine tributaries of Rio Chico, then he reached the settlements in Columpet and Malolos on November 14, 1571 and other old villages mostly along Manila Bay. Legazpi had established a government on the islands and went on to become the first Spanish governor of the Philippines. <laughs> Last years. López de Legazpi governed the Philippines for a year before dying suddenly of a stroke in Manila on August 20, 1572 after scolding an aide. He died poor and bankrupt, leaving a few pesos behind, due to having spent most of his personal fortune during the conquest. He was laid to rest in San Agustin Church, in Tremuros. By the time of López de Legazpi's death, the parts of the Visayas had passed to Spanish rule. The Spanish met strong resistance from Muslim sultanates on the island of Mindanao, the Zambal tribes of Zambales, and the Igorot of the Cordilleran Mountains, as well as some Wakao pirates from China and Japan. Topic. Letters to the King of Spain During his last years, López de Legazpi wrote several letters to Philip II of Spain about his journey to the East Indies, and the conquest he had achieved. These were collectively known as the Cartas al Rey Don Felipe II, Sobre la Expedición, Conquistas y Progresos de las Islas Filipinas. Letters to the King Lord Philip II, on the expedition, conquests, and progress of the Philippine Islands. The letters are still preserved today at the General Archive of the Indies in Seville, Spain. Topic. Role of religion on the expedition 
At the time of Legazpi's arrival, the natives of the archipelago practiced Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism and animism. Part of the motivation of the Spaniards was to evangelize population and convert people to Roman Catholicism. With the Augustinian, Franciscan and other friars, who had helped him establish a government on the islands, López de Legazpi worked to convert the natives to the Christian religion. In 1609, Antonio de Morga, alcalde of criminal causes, in the Royal Audiencia of New Spain wrote, After the islands had been conquered by the sovereign light of the Holy Gospel which entered therein, the heathen were baptized, the darkness of their paganism was banished and they changed their own for Christian names. The islands also, losing their former name, took—with the change of religion and the baptism of their inhabitants— that of Filipinas Islands, in recognition of the great favors received at the hands of His Majesty Felipe II, our sovereign, in whose fortunate time and reign they were conquered, protected and encouraged, as a work and achievement of His Royal Hands. <laughs> Legacy Legazpi and Urdaneta's expedition to the Philippines effectively created the Trans-Pacific Manila Galleon trade, in which silver mined from Mexico and Potosi was exchanged for Chinese silk, porcelain, Indonesian spices, Indian gems and other goods precious to Europe at the time. The trade route formed an important commercial link between Latin America and the Asia-Pacific with the trade products even carried over to Europe via the Havana Galleons, while heavily financing the Spanish Empire. The introduction of Western ingredients, goods, and imperialism brought about the Hispanization of the islands. The Hispanization process escalated the degree of slavery and the consistent persecution of traditional ethnic religions. For the next 333 years, from 1565 when Spain first established a colony in the country until the Treaty of Paris on December 10, 1898, the Philippines was a Spanish colony including the years 1762 to 1764 when the British controlled Manila and the port city of Cavite but not the whole country. Topic. Media portrayals Portrayed by Mark Gill in the 2013 TV series, Indio. Topic. Gallery Topic. See also History of the Philippines Topic. Publications De Morga, Antonio 2004. History of the Philippine Islands. Volume 1 and 2. Project Gutenberg. López de Legazpi, Don Miguel 1564-1572. Cartas al rey Don Felipe II, sobre la expedición, conquistas y progresos de las islas Filipinas. Sevilla, España. References Topic. External links Confirmation of López de Legazpi's title as Governor and Captain General article. MGA Conquistador ng Pilipinas. Invasions of the Philippines by European and Chinese would be conquerors and the fierce resistance, intermittently successful, ultimately doomed, by scattered bands of fishermen and rice farmers, Alaput. Org.